our institute, but not only. First was a multi-center real-world evidence study on the use of Visma DGIP in advanced basal cell carcinoma. We haven't too many such studies. I think that it was interesting because we conducted the uh, retrospective analysis of the data uh, of more than 100 patients treated with Vismodegib uh, uh, during the last uh, three years in six uh, Polish centers. Because in Poland, it's uh, relatively well established in so-called uh, therapeutic drug programs. So we have very homogeneous group of patients uh, within this real world evidence and uh, Majority of these patients were uh, had locally advanced uh, basal cell carcinoma. About ninety percent, about ten percent had metastatic basal carcinoma. Uh, nine patients were diagnosed with Gorlin Gold's uh, syndrome, and uh, uh, the median P PFS was uh, more than thirty months. Uh, so. Uh, Two years PFS rate was more than 60% and median overall survival was for more than 40 months. Generally, the most important predictive factor for PFS uh, and uh, was uh, NOS was uh, female, female gender and also complete or part partial response. What we can say also that uh, Grade three, grade four toxicities were not so common like uh, as in the clinical trials. It was about uh, four or five percent. So uh, most uh, adverse events were relatively mild, and permanent interruption was only in four percent. So now we, the, what is the conclusion generally that we confirmed, of course, the efficacy of this modegip in the routine treatment of BCC. Compared to the clinical trials, the frequency and severity of uh, weight loss, uh, diarrhea, fatigue uh, was low, and probably we know how to treat the patients now better because we can keep them uh, in higher rate that it was reported in the clinical trials on uh, active treatment for a long time. So uh, th these are general conclusions from my, my, my first poster. Thank you.